Hello everyone, welcome to uh, NLP and the coronavirus day 47 and uh, something special for you. This is uh, Friday Night Live. Um, I'm joined by the terrible twins, uh, Louis and Reese Davis, who will now forever be known as the Bentley Boys. Um, <laughs> and I've I've got to say to you, mate, since, since you two got those Bentleys, I've been having these really vivid dreams of driving around country roads in a, in a convertible Rolls Royce. Oh, really? Really? <laughs> Keep driving down the side. It's your, and it's your fault. It's, <laughs> I've never had them before. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> so I, I, I thought I'd um, we'd do something a little bit different uh, since it's uh, since it's Friday Friday evening. And uh, we haven't had uh, Louis and Reese uh, on our live for a for a while. Uh, part of the reason for that is that we've just been like really crazy busy. Um, you know, a lot of uh, I seem to have been more busy since we've done the lockdown than uh, than I was before. Um, and uh, you know, I know that um, Louis and Reese are out there doing uh, coaching with the, with the NHS and. Uh, I've seen the other client coaching clients as well. So I thought what we'd do tonight is just talk about uh, you know our take on uh, what's happening in the, in the market um, and what we're what we're what we're doing seems to be uh, like starting to come out of lockdown here now, um, and you know what we're what we're gearing up to do when uh, we go back to a, to a new normal. So welcome, guys. Cheers, my friend. How are we doing? Good to be back. Yeah, excellent. Good to see you. Uh, you've, you've had a, an eventful evening, <laughs> yeah. so thanks for for uh, for, for making it and and, uh, and joining us here. Um, so um, you know, what's your what's your take on the on the um, on the market? You know, personal sure. the personal empowerment market. I, I want to kickstart this. It's Friday night, so let's make this one like a party. The energy's got to be high so that yeah. the viewers don't miss the pubs and the clubs. So let me explain something, right? My personal take on the market based on experience right now. Last week, I took on a new client, a female client that was doing exceptionally well, but she had what we call a contraction mindset, defense, not offense. Right. I had some stern words in the opening 30 minute call with the student. And I said, what's your objective in business? The objective is to make money in a 12 day period. This student made 120,000 pounds with me from scratch. Brilliant. Well, do hey, great results. From scratch. But I want to explain something because I don't want this to be about money because it's all to do with how we control our top four inches. Based on what's going on around us, we have a decision to make. In hard times, do we thrive or defend? Yep. The market is made up of individuals that control the market. The products aren't the market. The services aren't the market. The people controlling them, selling them, distributing them, and utilizing them are. So in my circle, in Reese's circle, in your circle, David, the market's fine. Yeah. Because we're creating individuals that are being offensive. We're not putting the emphasis on the exchange of money. We're putting the emphasis on working the market so that it can come back and the money will come back, if that makes sense. Yeah. And yeah. I, I think as well, all the real personal development, NLP, hypnosis people in the UK, they step up because now all of a sudden this pandemic gives you the ability to find out who's got the metal. Yeah. Who's got that minerals, right? Because strategy is cool, but it's the person who drives the strategy that has to make the difference. Yeah. So Dave, when you showed up where you did, I was like, that's his true colours showing out now. And there's other people I expected to deploy value and haven't. Yeah. I'm a little bit disappointed and deflated by that. But I'm proud of you and I'm proud of us for deploying value and giving people the courage to be non-regressive and productive. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I, you know, <clears throat> the vast majority of people um, in you know, the personal development, the personal empowerment, uh, personal improvement space, uh, other than a, a few individuals, have just gone really quiet. I don't know where, they, where they've gone. I mean, it's just um, like they've, they've, they've packed up and um, just just press pause. You know, um, waiting for the world to to come back. 
Um, whereas, you know, my first take on it was uh, we've got some, got some tools which would be useful for people at this point in time. People are going to be struggling. Let's get out there. Um, and, you know, but the, but the other thing from a, from, a, um, from a business point of view is that when um, lockdown does finish and people want to start doing phys stuff physically again, people that have been out there all, all the time are going to be top of mind. Oh, but Dave, and you know what? I said to my fiance when this all happened, I said, when all the influencers either step up or step down, that will determine whether they go forward or broke when Corona finishes. Yeah. Because, you, 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 listen, you don't ride that wave, man. You rise above it. And you mark it above yeah. it. And you brand yourself above it. And you allow everyone else to go into survival mode and they, they don't regret it. And it's the ones that are obviously loud, positive, and then there's not a fault fault in their armor. Then, like you just said, Dave, man, you know, everyone's going to be drawn to that brand or business like a magnet because they stood strong through core values and a core ethos when the whole market was scared. Can I explain something, right? The reason people, to highlight what David said, people have gone introverted. They've gone, right? The people that have disappeared now and aren't deploying value is because they unconsciously, unconsciously do not feel morally obligated to help, right? Yeah. Let me explain something. This is gold dust for you all. If you make this thing about money, it's evident because you've gone missing. Everyone's feeling financial pressure now. So we're all on what we call equal playing field. Yeah. The people that aren't sold or focused solely on monetization in their business because their ethos is about change and growth, they're still showing up. Us three are still showing up. But the problem is this, right? If you're worried about the economy and you're worried about finances, have you not learned over the last nine weeks that money has no value? Let me explain something. With the amount of new money that the government has printed for loans for businesses to keep the economy thriving, couldn't they have used that to stop homelessness? Couldn't they have used that to build new schools, better prisons, so on and so forth? So money, to me personally now, doesn't have the same value as it once did. Because I thought it was so hard to come by, but we've now witnessed that just because of a pandemic, they can print trillions of pounds worth of debt and distribute it free of charge. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, you, you do get that, that like reality, the reality that money isn't real. Yeah. By, by the way, I'll take my bounce back loan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it just makes it created out of nowhere. And, and now, you know, literally, there is a, a lot of money swimming around in the, in the market. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I know we've been, we've been talking uh, about this. Um, at some point in time, and it looks like it's, going to be, it's getting pretty close now, uh, we're going to be back out there again um, and, you know, really do physical business rather than this virtual. Though, though, to be honest with you, I don't think we're ever going to go back to the, the, the way we used to do things. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this has become such a major part of what uh, I do now, particularly. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know... <clears throat> That you know, you're you're also using this this time, this opportunity, um, to get um, new new skills on board. You know, we, we talked about uh, you know working together so we can uh, certify you as trainers of NLP, trainers of hypnosis, trainers of timeline therapy, trainers of NLP coaching um, over these over these next few few weeks. Uh, that's that's the other uh, major opportunity I think people have got, but a lot of people have been missing it. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you've got all this time where you could be, um, you know, feeding, feeding this thing up here. So that then, you know, because it's going to be huge numbers of people um, that are going to that, that are going to need those skills when we when we come out of here. Um, you know, the number of people that is thought will be, um, you know, experiencing things like uh, PTSD, yeah, 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 and anxiety disorders, etc. Uh, and with these, with the skills that we've got, we can we can really assist those people in, um, you know, getting getting themselves back to 
uh, a good state of being very quickly. I think that's a major opportunity. Um, yeah. do, do you know what? We made a decision, and you were in on the decision, that we were going to use this period to upscale the value that we could bring to the table, not based on energy, because we have that in abundance, but based on intellect, right? How things work in this world is people need two variables to change, right? One variable is energy because the world actually lacks energy. Not yeah. many people have good frequency. And the other, for the left brain logics, is they seek intelligence. Once you penetrate a soul with the information that they think they want to hear, it always goes back down to the energy that they need anyway. Yeah. So what we've realized you know, becoming trainers of NLP, trainers of hypnosis and trainers of NL, um, timeline therapy, we're able to cater for the people that need the frequency and people that need the intellect and we're going to cross it over. But yeah. we're not finished yet. We believe in the UK. There's a macro message and a micro message. The macro message is all about positive change. But mm -hmm. in order to create a shift in this country, we have to micromanage individuals and authorities in order to create the big shift. So without these qualifications, without this macro understanding that we can deploy this information, me and Reese won't do that. Because our energy alone is only um, received by, I would say, 60% of our audience. The right. other 40%, the professional, the doctors and the solicitors, and I would say police, but I will never say that, the lawyers, they need intelligence. So that's why we're doing that. And I think it gives us the opportunity to give the whole arena a good facelift. Yeah. Face after, after the pandemic, right, you need, energy, you need charisma. You don't just need information because all we've been yeah. is information. So how I see the facilitating positive change is I've told you, Dave, you know, it's my sole ambition to unfuck the UK market from having high five moments saying, way, well done for nothing and create actionable change in what could appear to be essentially the generic market. And we can make it how it should be. So NLP is something that can be actioned and actually make a massive difference. And that's my moral obligation, bro. Yeah. And, and David, do you know what as well? I want, uh, I want to say something to give people context. So behind our yeah. thinking is this. Once we've launched our academy or our school or school of excellence, potentially all three, 50% of people that apply to be certified by myself and my brother, 50% will not get onto the course because people have to align to our beliefs about what coaches should be. Who are the twins to say that they're good enough to be coaches or not? Well, very simple. We make a decision based on what we believe. Mm -hmm. We will not be certifying absolutely everyone, but those people that do get onto our courses, 100% will pass. Yeah. Simple. Yeah, that's, that's very much um, my kind of my kind of thinking about it. Is obviously, you know, somebody invests their, their time, their energy, their effort in coming to do the training. Then our intention is um, that we we would be able to we would certify them. Yeah, as long as they meet the the standard. Yeah. yeah. Um, which, if you've got the right people on the program and they're yeah. willing to do whatever it takes. They will, they will be certified at the end of it, but it's not yeah. just a matter of being in the room. Um, you know, there's so, there's so many um, you know, training institutes out there that, that essentially, as, lo as long as you've paid your money and you're sitting in the room, you're going to get a piece of paper at the end of the day. And that's just not good enough. And that's why, to a large extent, I think the personal development, personal empowerment, and particularly the NLP marketplace has got such a bad reputation at the moment. Yeah. Um, and, um, you know, that's, that's, a, that's the thing that I mean, I'm delighted to hear what, you, what you've said, because what that will do over time is it will raise car yeah. once again and, you know, <clears throat> get to the point where, you know, for me, I used to be um, proud when I said, yeah that I worked in personal development. Yeah. Uh, now, to a certain extent, now when people ask me what they do, I go, oh. Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, but, you know, just add value to what you, you said there about bringing the right people into the room as well. A lot of that's down to branding and marketing and yeah. how you portray yourself. Because obviously, you know me and Louis Brandoff, 
very, very well, and we have a fantastic client base, okay? And for whatever reason, a lot of people that go into NLP or personal development or hypnosis, they're not business-minded. Yeah, they're not. They go to learn, but if they get back to market themselves, they now need to learn a new skill set. Because yeah. otherwise, there's an indiscrepancy from the service that you offer, which is professional, then how you appear to the consumer, which is unprofessional. Yeah, okay. Make sense? So the people that you're bringing into the sales funnel are not your ideal demographic based on shit marketing and branding. Yeah. And, and, and that's, that's why me and my brother are going to slightly change it as well, so we can teach people how to brand and market themselves based on their professional capabilities. Yeah. So it's going to work very simple. As um, trainers of NLP, we will identify the people that are coming to fix themselves and we will identify the people that come to want to learn to grow a business. Because if you come into the room to do all these methods and you're breaking down every five minutes because your life's been that fucked up, once you get a certificate, you can't announce yourself as a practitioner of NLP, let me help you. Because yeah, it's the broken just... trying to fix the broken. It's dangerous, man. Yeah. And that's what Groupon allows. <laughs> yeah. Groupon yeah. allows this. <laughs> yeah. People have got the nine pounds ninety-five student <laughs> NLP practitioner certification. Yeah. I'm gonna throw mine away then. <laughs> yeah, I'm mean, they don't know, but we've got invested shares in Groupon that produce those certificates. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, I think that I think the, the key thing, you know, that I'm getting always get from talking to you guys, um, is you know, you're always out there, you're always pumping the, the energy out there, you're, you're always out there, you know, um, creating value for people, um, and you know, whilst the, whilst the, a lot of people have got like sucked into the to the doom and gloom of this lockdown and pandemic then you know whenever uh, i bring you guys on, on here you know i always get the thing such great energy such positivity you know this just um brightens up people's uh, day which is why i thought you know uh, <coughs> great for a uh, a friday friday night live uh, yeah. just to get things going for the um uh, for, the, for the weekend not that the weekends really stand out that much anymore but you know, uh, <coughs> I had to check my uh, my watch to make sure that it was actually Friday. I haven't got any, any, any clue. <laughs> uh, uh, no. the, thing is, the thing is this, Dave, man. Like, now that all the days are blurred into one, it's like, we're cool because we need to live for the weekend anyway. You yeah. Know, no, that, that, you know, we, we treat every day as an opportunity to literally go back to work and, and do it all again. And it, it's cool because this, is, this has been my normality my whole life. And, all yeah. and what I want to urge people to do is genuinely use it as an opportunity to expose yourself to, for areas of growth yeah man we've never had much more to, we've never had more time you know and before things get back to normal i just wonder what the percentage is going to be of how many people look back and think i did not capitalize on it man yeah. you missed a moment in history you missed a moment you stay still during a moment of history and you could have flourished you dickhead. <laughs> like, oh God, you know. <laughs> but there's probably still a couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That opportunity so that you can say that you did something to make yeah. yourself feel proud during the pandemic. <laughs> Time's ticking away. Yeah. Gotta grab it now. Oh, anyway, guys. Thanks again for, um, uh, for joining us. Um, obviously, uh, um, I know you'll, you'll be looking at the comments and that, but you always take questions and all that kind of stuff yeah. um, with uh, people who uh, watch this live or, or uh, you know, on, the, on, the, uh, on the recording. So uh, thanks so much for, uh, for, for joining us. Uh, and you know, again, wherever you are in the world, we love you lots. And um, uh, it's uh, a hui ho. Can, can I say one thing, Dave, David, can I say one thing before we sign off? Sure. For everyone that's watched this video, on behalf of myself, Lucy and David, I want to say we really appreciate your time and your energy, right? If you have any questions whatsoever, please ask below right now. Share the video and let's raise the awareness. We've got three like-minded individuals that are hell-bent on spreading, spreading positive energy. Alone, yeah. we can't do that, so we need you. Like the video, share the video, and ask us any question below. Brilliant. Cool, man. See you later, guys. See you. See you, Dave.
Bye, bye, bye.